In this video, we will show you how to file a supplier motor vehicle fuel tax return. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to the website cdtfa.ca.gov and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the Online Services Login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA Online Services Login page, we will enter our username and password. Then click Login. On the Online Services Profile page, under the Accounts tab, we will click on the MVF Supplier Hyperlink next to the account number for which you want to file a return. This will take us to the Supplier Motor Vehicle Fuel Account page. Under the Periods tab, click on the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the September 2019 period, which is displayed by its return end date of September 30, 2019. On the File Attachment page, you can upload your Supplier Motor Vehicle Fuel Tax Return file type via FLAT, FLT, EDI, or Return IRS EDI. For instructions on file preparation, including file type and formatting requirements, template Excel workbooks for creating FLAT, FLT, and EDI files, sample files, and other useful information related to motor fuel online filing, please visit the CDTFA website here. If this is your first time filing in the new online services, please ensure you have the updated template for your file upload. To obtain this file, click here. In our example, we have downloaded the new flat file template and entered our information. To upload the return, we will click on Add. A pop-up window will display to add the type, description, and file. Click on the drop-down. Select the file type you are uploading. In our example, we will choose Motor Fuel Flat File. Then enter a description and click on Choose File to upload your return that is saved on your computer. After you have selected the file, click on Save. Once the file has successfully loaded, click on Next to proceed. This will take you to the Schedule Totals page. The information displayed below has been calculated from the schedules within the Motor Vehicle Supplier Tax Return File Submission. Any rates reflected in this example are for illustration purposes only. Please visit our website for current rates at cdtfa.ca.gov. Please review this information for accuracy before proceeding. If you would like to update the calculated tax due, please resubmit an updated file by selecting the Previous button and following the instructions accordingly. In our example, our totals are correct. We will click Next. On the Excess Tax page, if you have collected more tax than the total amount of tax due displayed, you will select Yes and enter the difference. In our example, we did not collect excess tax and will select No, then we will select Next. Review the Summary page. If you need to make corrections, click on Previous, otherwise click Next to proceed. Enter your required information and click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read the information carefully, enter your password, and click OK to submit. This will serve as your authorization and confirmation. You will not receive a confirmation email. This confirmation page represents a return filing only. Please take note of your confirmation number and the total amount due. We recommend that you print this page for future reference. If your payment information was not included in your return upload, you can make an electronic payment by clicking on the Make a Payment button. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115. California Relay Service at 711.